Hi, I'm Gail Weisfield. I'm a watercolor artist and I'm primarily a wet and wet painter. What you're looking at here is the first wash of a painting that has been stretched and dried and is ready to have a second wash put over it without any buckles appearing. I can put as many washes over this surface, speed them dry with a hair dryer, and continue painting without any interruption. The reason I can do this is because I've stretched it on a boga board. This is a product that I designed and patented, and it's a product that makes it possible to be ready to paint in three minutes. This is the boga board. It's, a high, it's made of high impact polystyrene, and it has only four wedges that, when placed in the slot, they hold the paper tightly. It's designed to accommodate a half sheet of 22 by 30 watercolor paper. The first thing you do is saturate your paper completely. You can saturate it in a tub or you can wet it with a sponge or your brush. Once your paper lays completely flat on the board, you know it's reached its fullest size of expansion and it's completely saturated. I sometimes find it a little easier if you remove the corners of the paper with a little pair of scissors. This takes the excess bulk out of the uh, out of the edges of your for your wedges and makes more room, makes it easier to push them in and take them out. Okay, so now I have a perfectly saturated piece of paper that's ready to stretch. I find it easiest if I start with the short end first and I apply the first wedge, then the second one. Doing the same thing on the long wedges. The tall leg of the wedge goes against the paper and it holds. I like to push the wedges all the way to the bottom so that I don't have any instructions in the way of my brush when I'm painting. So if I didn't get them all the way down with my thumbs, I tip it up and give myself a little bit of strength to push it down. Now let me tell you, what you've just seen is a piece of paper stretched in less than three minutes. I can take a hair dryer to this piece of paper and be ready to paint in five minutes. Once the, the paper is stretched, as you can see, that there is no obstructions for your brush at any point on the paper. You can enter the paper coming and going with absolute full use right up to the edge of the paper. The wedges only use about 3 eighths of an inch of the paper to hold it, which gives you 32 square inches more painting surface on a piece of paper than other methods of stretching do. Now I can tip and rock and add moisture to my, to my paper to adjust my washes, and the board is very easily handleable. I have a movable surface that weighs less than four pounds. I have completed my first wash and dried it, and as you can see, I'm ready to apply my second wash. Now, if I needed to, I could re-wet this entire surface with water again and not have any buckles. There's not another method of painting used that you can re-wet your paper a second time completely and not have buckles to paint over. But if I wanted to paint smaller, instead of having two boards, I can turn my board, cover half of my stretched piece of paper, and have two quarter sheets stretched and ready to paint on. Now I have my first wash done and dry, so now I'm ready to apply my second wash. So I can start just as in any other painting and begin to paint with a nice firm edge over my nice wet and wet wash and have a second wash. So this is absolutely trouble free stretching. Now I'm done with my painting and I want to remove my wedges. The wedges are in very tight. It takes a lot of pressure to hold this paper. So I found the easiest way to remove the wedge is to have a small uh, screwdriver or the end of a plastic uh, handled paintbrush and you slip it under the lip of the wedge and pry up. Once you have this wedge removed, you can take the tall leg of the wedge, stick it under this other leg and again, it gives you a good surface to pry with. This is absolutely the easiest and most 100% effective stretcher you'll find on the market today.